What's going on, beautiful people? Look, we are going to look at StreamYard right quick. Uh, many of you use StreamYard for your streaming when you do your YouTube videos or your Facebook videos. I receive a specific question regarding uh, how to actually um, share your screen on S StreamYard. It's kind of a tongue twister. How to share your screen on StreamYard. So let's get into it. Uh, you go to your, um, to your, this is actually Chrome. I like Chrome. They recommend you use Chrome browser. You go to your browser. That's the word I'm looking for. You go to your browser. Uh, use the Chrome browser. If you don't have Chrome browser, you can always download the Chrome browser inside the Chrome browser. And then, of course, um, you just put StreamYard in the search bar. That'll take you to your StreamYard. Now, let me just walk through right quickly. We're going to talk about creating broadcasts. Let's create a new broadcast. All right. And then um, I'm just going to do record only. And then this is... Um, we're going to put um, Miss Cruiser. Miss Cruiser 2 in there, all right? And then we're going to create a record only broadcast. Let's just create it. And now it's allowing us to enter into the studio. And um, my microphone check one, two, one, two. I don't want my camera on, so I'm push stop camera. By the way, my camera is on, but I always have something covering up the camera, which is something that you all may want to do. So you all won't be having these camera slips <laughs> and you push uh, stop recording and the avatar comes up. And then, of course, uh, my display name. Let's put uh, let's put yeah, let's put the cash app in here just in case this was helpful to anybody. And they want to tip the creator. You can tip the content creator. All right. Uh, Dollar Sign Skywalker 2020. My mic is looking good, uh, my camera. Um, and then let's enter the studio. All right, we're in the studio. Now that we're in the studio, okay, um, you go down here to the bottom left-hand corner, add to the stream. I'm going to add, add, uh, I'm gonna add myself to the stream. I'm going to take this branding banner off right quick. One second. All right. And so we're, we're actually in the stream now. And... You want to add a screen. So you go down here and you go to share, share, and it's going to ask a uh, slides, video, video file, or share screen. Okay. And so we're going to hit share screen. And then it's, let's read through this. It says screen, screen sharing tips. Screen sharing is easy, easiest with two monitors. Screen sharing works best on a good computer. <laughs> a good computer. <laughs> screen sharing. Uh, some screens let you share audio. Look for the share audio checkbox on the next window. Follow these steps to share a video with audio. Okay, so we'll have share screen. All right. And so I have two screens hooked up. All right. Uh, I got my, my laptop rather. And then I have a, a auxiliary, I guess a small 15 inch monitor uh, hooked up to my laptop. So I have two screens. So let's try it. If you only have one screen, okay, and you're in StreamYard and you want to share your screen, uh, let's go with one screen. Let's see what that hap what happens when you do that. So we took pick screen one, all right, and then um, the screen is being shared. That is not a good look at all. So what's going on is because it is copying itself or, or recording itself it goes on through infinity of actually copy it's like when you look in a mirror uh, into another mirror and you know how it goes on and on and on so really if you want to share a screen you have to have um two monitors okay so let's hit the share screen again and we're going to pick a screen number two. And the second monitor is, is really not expensive at all. Uh, and so now the screen that we're sharing, which is that second monitor, is being being shared. And that's what you have. Now, of course, the views, you can have it where you are here in the lower left-hand corner. Uh, you can kind of see yourself. Uh, make it a little bigger. And then also here, if you have a guest on, uh, you and the guest and the sc uh, screen is being shared. Then I like this one here where uh, I'm kind of bigger, but then you can see the screen that's being shared. 
And so say I I open this up on my screen that's being shared. Uh, one second, I bump that out the way. So I open that up on the screen that's being shared. All right, Chrome. And so therefore, they, you have that. You can kind of look at that. That's a good way of showing your pictures. Uh, what are you trying to display? Or when it's like this, you can actually run video. Say you open up another YouTube channel or some other news source or something or, or commentary. You can actually play it while you're talking and you can make um, make yourself smaller or say if you have somebody else. All right. So uh, that's how you share a screen on StreamYard. You have to have. Yeah. You, you, you have to have two, you have to have uh, another monitor in order to share that. Uh, as far as the way I see that is that it'll, that's the best way to do it. Because if you try to share it, uh, you only have one monitor is actually repeating and, sh and sharing itself. And you have a mess that you, that you see. Hopefully that answers the question regarding how to share your screen in StreamYard. Uh, if you have any other questions, please hit um, in the comments section. Uh, if you need more help as far as how to operate StreamYard, um, you can always contact me. Um, my information is in the in the description section, uh, and I'll be glad to help. Even when it comes to like making banners and overlays and all that great stuff to help you have a better stream, um, definitely uh, have no problem doing that for you. So that answers the question on how to share the screen. Let's go back to the beginning, and I want to deal, dive in more on how to operate StreamYard. So we're going to remove this, and we're going to move myself from the from the actual um, stream, and we're going to hide this, and we're going to leave the studio, all right, and we're going to go back to the beginning. Let's let's. Uh, let's get rid of that. Delete the broadcast. Yes. All right. So many of you are thinking about starting using StreamYard. We're going to walk through through the basics on how to use StreamYard. StreamYard is a streaming software that allows you to stream yourself live to Facebook, YouTube, um, and other places. It makes things easier. Uh, it is a paid service, okay? But the way things are laid out is very easy to use compared to OBS, um, which is an open broadcasting source um, that is free, but it's a lot more complicated um, as far as functionality. So this is StreamYard. It's your account information here in the top right-hand corner. Let's go to broadcast. That's the broadcast one that we're looking at right now. We'll come back to this. This is videos. Any videos that you actually stream, you actually record the video as on the StreamYard platform as well as goes to the destination. The destination, this is your different account. So my YouTube accounts, I got a couple YouTube accounts. Facebook account can be added as well. And you can click the button to add a destination. Say you want to send your um, live to Facebook. You can add a Facebook group, Facebook profile, YouTube channel, Twitter, LinkedIn, Twitch, and other places. All right. Then you hit the member. Um, there is, what is it saying? To celebrate the launch of Teams. You can invite one team member for free. All right, not, I really don't use that. And then down here on the left-hand side, team settings, uh, recording storage. So 1.4, 50 hours. They allow you to store 50 hours of recording there in the cloud on their site if you so desire. All right, let's go back to the broadcast, y'all. And you're getting ready. You want to do your broadcast. You want to go live. So you're going to hit the create a broadcast button and then say you recorded a video and it's on your computer. You can use a pre-recorded video, but most of us will be hitting the new broadcast button and then you decide where you're going to broadcast to. All right. And then um, you can record only or you can go to an actual channel. All right. So I'm going to let's mess around with this channel here. And so we're going to put um, tests. All right, and uh, you can have the title of what your show is going to be, a description, all right? Then you have privacy set, and you can have the uh, public, unlisted, or private. Uh, we're going to make it private, all right? And then you can schedule time. Um, 
You can schedule a time, say today, uh, say at 10 or 11 o'clock, you put that in, as well as you can upload a thumbnail image um, so people can see the thumbnail image. And once you hit the upload button, it actually goes to your computer. And then here you can pick a um, JPEG or PNG uh, file that you can use as your thumbnail. Let's use this. This um, I don't use this too much. This guy looks really, really, really happy. Um, let's use this guy here. And so that'll be the thumbnail image that will be shown uh, in regards to the actual live that you're doing before somebody clicks on. And once again, just want to say how important thumbnails are to what you're doing um, because your thumbnail is not tight. Um, you're not going to get a click or a view most of the time. Okay, so create broadcast. And it's doing its thing. It's creating its broadcast while it's doing that. All right, so now the broadcast is created. All right, the title, the creation time, the schedule, the time is scheduled to start. And you don't have to schedule a uh, start time. You can actually do it right here and, and go from there. So that's done. Uh, these three dots here, uh, invite a guest. You can invite a guest before the show starts, edit. All right, so let's enter the studio. We're going to enter the studio. Now we're in the studio, and we see that the mic is working. The mic is working. Um, the camera, I'm going to stop the camera. I'm going to put the camera on mute. Notice the camera is not on mute, but I have something coming up, covering up the camera. Very important to do. This gives you your camera mic information, type of camera. I'm using my um, my webcam, and then my audio is coming from my mic, my auxiliary mic. You don't need all that either to begin with. You can just use the onboard camera that's on your computer as well as the onboard microphone that's on your computer. You also have an option for a virtual, virtual background, which allows you to um, choose a background to use. Uh, it's best if you have a green screen. If you don't have a green screen, you can still use a virtual background and you click one of these buttons and this will be the background that you are going to use. Um, and you've seen me use these like in a case update as well as the one I did about um, Dove v. Milton. So that's that. And then let's get out the settings here. All right. And so now your display name, whatever your display name you're going to use. Uh, then you're going to go enter the studio. Now we are actually in the studio. So when you come in the studio, the first thing you see is this um, scheduled. And actually, you're looking at a banner. Let me take that branding off, rather. And we'll get to that in a minute. But let me um, not show that background. That's actually the background. Let me hide that background. You basically see this, all right, which is a blank screen uh, where the studio is. Oh, one second. Battery's about to die. Let me plug it up. All right. So if you um, go down here, you see where I am, and you can just kind of highlight that, and you click Add to the Stream. So there, that's added to the stream, okay? And once that's added to the stream, the format... Um, you want to say when you're ready to go live you can say boom hit that button right here on the top right hand corner in order for you to go live and then once you go live it'll turn red and you hit this button here on the extreme right hand side of the comments you can see the actual comments that's going on as while you're live let's just walk through this right quick this page uh this is the Streamyard duck um, the name of the live, of course, we said test. This is the time is scheduled for to start. And when that time comes, you still have to push go live in order for it to go live. Or if you want to go live before that schedule time, if you don't schedule time, hit go live. This is where it's going to. I'm in the top right hand corner, y'all. As you see my face, it's going to my YouTube, going to my YouTube channel, and it's going to be private. Now this is the display screen. This is what the world sees when they're watching you. There's different formats. So I got this one here where it's just a solo layout. This is double when you have somebody else that comes on. When you click them on side by side, this is also side by side. This is for more than one uh, person. Uh, this is for when you share your screen. 
on the last three or four when you share your screen. We'll, we'll get to that eventually. This is the, this is uh, right here. You see Skywalker 2020. That is me. If somebody else comes on 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 your live on your stream, they'll come in this area right here next to where you see my avatar. On the bottom line here, you got mute where you can mute your mic. Got a start cam where you can turn your camera on. All right. Uh, this is the functions for cam mic. You can decide and make uh, adjustments there. We already talked about that a few minutes ago with the uh, general audio camera virtual background. Hot keys allows you to make give your keys a certain functionality. When you hit a key, it automatically does something. The different layouts you can choose as well as the guests. Let's close that down. This button here is very important because this is the share button, share. You hit the share button. This allows you to share your screen, which we talked about that in the first part of the video. And sharing your screen allows you to show another screen uh, while you are on screen or while you're off screen and people to see that. It's best to do that. You need to have, it's best to have two monitors when you're doing that, if at all possible. All right, next thing, this is important. This is called invite, the invite. You, you hit the invite button, you hit the copy to clipboard. Once you copy the clipboard, you close it out. And then you come over here into this lower right hand side and you paste and then you hit the chat. And so therefore it's red now, but it drops a link for your stream yard so people can come on live and come up and talk to you and you guys can have a panel discussion and invite. I think I forgot how many people can actually come up at one time. And once again, when they come up, you'll see them right here in this area next to my avatar. And when you click on them, or hover over them, uh, excuse me, when you hover over them, uh, you can add them to the chat or remove them to the chat. That's also how you move them from the chat. Add them to the chat and then they'll come on screen in a certain configuration. All right, now, the next thing is leave the studio, all right? That's when, you, when you're when you done getting ready to leave the studio. That's you click that. Now, this middle section here, this is um, display for what's going on in the extreme right hand side so right hand side i click the comments this is where you see the comments regarding your show your live viewer comment shows up on the stream yard this is an example click on a comment to show on the screen so if you click on the comment here when you're live there you go uh it will show on the screen then you cl click to hide it also star i don't know what that star let's hit the star see what happens when you hit the star Okay, I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, we'll hide that back. This is the next section. It's called the under the comments. It's the banner section. And here you can create examples of banners. For example, um, this one here I created is, um, let's show it. It gives me a sticker, uh, a live ticker at the bottom of the thing, all right? This one here is another one I created. It gives my cash app, my Venmo. Um, this banner, this banner here is um, a larger one and it says thanks for watching and to close it out you push hide close out push hide and this right here allows you to create your banner you can um, say type in what you want whether you want to scroll across the bottom or if you want it to be a, a solid one right here in that lower uh, lower third uh, you can do that and add a banner which is pretty cool that's the banners the next section is the branding. Branding is very important because that's your brand. You can choose what color uh, you want your uh, banners and stuff to, to, to be. For example, let me put this back banner back up here. Um, let me run that one right there, all right? And then branding. So the brand color, you can choose whether you want it to be, um, you know, whatever color floats your boat. I like the blue. Then the theme, as far as whether it's a kind of like a bubble, classic, minimum, um, block, and so say you have this one here. Thanks for watching. All right, and let's go back to banner. Go to branding, and so that's block, that's bubble. See how it changes that right there? Classic, uh, minimum, minimum is no good. All right, that's the theme. Uh, you can choose to show display names when people come up. Show displays names are always hidden when shown, uh, showing a comment or a banner. Okay. Um, 
you can now have multiple upload files at the same time. Then down here you have your logo. You click on that. It puts a logo in the top right hand corner. Um, and you can always upload your own logo. Now when uploading your own logo, you have to have special um, dimension uh, as far as um, so that it can fit a special size. And it's best to do it in JPEG or PNG file. If you need help in doing or creating your banners, please just let me know. Uh, that's something that I can definitely um, share and don't mind helping people do. Um, so you got the banners and then you come down here you got your overlays. So let's let's go to overlays. Overlay, see how overlay the, the, the live stream yard thing comes on right here in the top left-hand corner in the bottom right-hand corner. That also comes on. Let me take some of this stuff off one second. I'm going to hide those banners. So now go back to the branding. And you can see the StreamYard overlay. Once again, that allows you to have important information, stuff that you want to share to your your um, your viewers. Um, you know, you can say, hey, live from such and such, or live with Troy. And then uh, something stay down here. So banners, you have to create your own banners. And once again, you got to know the size, the width. That's something I can help anybody on if they so desire. Now, this is very important. This overlay is very important because this overlay is large enough to cover the whole screen. Once again, people are doing crazy wild things. They're doing, um, uh, you know, P-bombs. They're doing um, showing stuff uh, to get you to lose your channel, uh, expose themselves. So when you bring somebody up, it's important that you have an overlay. Overlays are not hard to make. Uh, once again, it's just a matter of adding, coming down here to add, to add an overlay. It goes to your computer and you pick a JPEG, you, pitch, you pick a picture that's on your computer that allows you to put that on there. And that creates the overlay. Um, these are a couple overlays I use once. One of my favorite content creators right there. Um, another overlay. All right, so you got your overlays. Let's turn the overlay off. Then you have your video clips. So you can actually upload video clips. Um, they have to be small in size, but you can uh, uh, upload clips um, compared to uploading a file. Now, if you come over here to share, you can actually share a video file, and that can be larger, or a video clip is real small. And so you know how everybody, you know how some people, when they say, hey, uh, we'll be back after the 30, or we'll start after the 30-minute mark, Say you go on, you say hello, you say a few words, and then you hit this countdown timer, bam. And what that countdown timer is allowing you more time, allowing your people time to come into your 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 chat and uh, and for you to get started. So that's a nice function to have. Once it reaches zero, it stops uh, automatically and goes back to the regular screen. However, if you want to stop it sooner, you can always hit this, this hide button, and uh, you can hide it. And then it won't be on the screen. We're just going to let it run out. And once it runs out, boom, then you're back to seeing yourself. Um, this is another uh, video clip, um, Beefing 313 of my intro. And um, that's just a clip that you can play and people, people can watch. Let's stop it right now. You can add the video clips here. Once again, you push the add button. It goes to your your um, computer and you'll pull up the mp4 uh, or the uh, mov file that allows you to do that if you need assistance in doing that and there's no problem i have no problems helping helping anyone who wants to create that helping you create that um so that's the overlay the background is not as important because the background is what's shown when you're not in the room so i just hit the background showing beef in 313 now if I remove myself from the chat like that, all right, you'll see my background. Those are different backgrounds you can have. That's kind of cool to have before you come on, on the scene. And when you get ready to add yourself to the stream, boom, you can't see really see, see the background. So the background is cool. But once again, the overlay is the key. The overlay is very, very important because that protects you when people come on that you don't know from doing kind of crazy stuff, all right? So then you also have the private chat. So you have the comments up here where you can see the, what's going on 
and the public chat, but then you got a private chat. So say you bring somebody up and you guys want to have a conversation behind the scene, y'all talking about your show, planning about planning your show, or talking about something else you don't want the world to know. Then you can go and you and your guests can go and in the private chat and and speak to each other privately without the whole public knowing. All right, then you got your settings. Um, we pretty much went through all this already. Uh, the the broadcast quality, keep it at 720p. I mean, uh, that's all you really need for for uh, what we're doing with uh, YouTube and Facebook. Shift videos up for comments banner, add avatar, automatically add shared screen videos to the stream. Okay, so that's just different uh, options that you can have. And when you are done with your live, make sure that this go live button that you see in the top right hand corner. Well, guess what? That will no longer be blue. That will be red. And when you're ready to stop the stream, you'll just push on that and that will stop, stop the th stop the stream. Once the stream is stopped, then um, you can remove yourself before before or after. It doesn't matter. But once the stream is stopped, everything's done. Then you want to leave the studio. So you go down here. In the lower uh, middle of the page, you go to leave the studio, and that takes you back out to the broadcast. Now, once that's done, uh, remember now you went live, so it's already while you're live is being broadcast or sent to uh, Facebook or YouTube. But also, you get a copy of your broadcast. It's saved. A uh, video is actually saved, and you have up to f uh, 50 hours. See here in the lower left-hand corner, up to 50 hours of storage time in the cloud or on StreamYard server. And that's where that is stored there with the uh, with the videos. And you can download that or you can um, do whatever you want to with it. So that's kind of a nice option as well. Once again, StreamYard is a paid service, um, but for the convenience, I think it's really, really worth it. There are other streaming services like OBS, which is not paid, that's free. But that's uh, very complicated, not as easy, not as user friendly to use. However, there's millions of people who use OBS. So therefore, if you want to look up a tutorial on how to use OBS, you can pretty much figure out anything that you want to do where StreamYard is already right there, laid out for you, ready to go. Um, there's other streaming services like I like Wirecast. Uh, I use Wirecast uh, as well. But the thing about Wirecast you don't have the option to bring people up live on your on your stream um, directly through the app. Stream StreamYard just simplifies everything and makes it very easy, uh, user friendly to use. Got a question for you? Which streaming service do you use on your channel? Uh, let me know in the comments and let me know why you like it and why you use it. If you found this information helpful to you, please uh, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please share. If you know anyone out there who's struggling with their stream yard and uh, they need some help, share this video with them or just share it, period. If you are considering doing your own thing and starting your own YouTube channel, this is the best time ever to start. Uh, quiet is kept. You're going to find a lot of people spending more time at home, especially the way things are going. Uh, just do it. Don't hesitate. Don't procrastinate. Don't make excuses. Don't overanalyze it. Just go on and make it happen. Uh, if you like this type of content, send me a text to T-R-O-Y at 33777 and whenever I go live I'll send you a text message to let you know that I'm going live I'm going to do more kind of technical content type of um, technical content in the future if you have any questions if you have any uh, things that you want me to look at and cover I will definitely do that for you also I got a request to show how to include sound in your videos and I'm going to work on that and I'll get that to you all as soon as possible. Hey, thanks for watching. Live, love, laugh, love yourself. Have a nice day. Uh, maybe I'll maybe see you around the way. Take care. Bye-bye.